Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, July 8th. Wow, we are like more than halfway through the year, and it's been a very long year, and now we're probably been home a lot longer than we ever thought we would be. But yeah, as we're doing it, we're connecting when we can. And I am really, really proud of you guys. So proud of you guys. And we're going to have a lot of fun today. We're doing the Mother Goose Wee Emotion. But before we do that, let's do a little warm up, shall we? <laughs> We're doing free form today, guys. <laughs> How does that music inform you, guys? How does it make you feel? Does it kind of remind me of popcorn for some reason? Like, that little pop beat? <laughs> Like you see the like popcorn is popping around there? taking a nice bite out of a big juicy apple. Ready? An apple and the lemon. An apple and the lemon. An apple and the lemon. An apple and a lemon. Good. Now let's take our time. We're gonna imagine we have some peanut butter right on that top lip, and now it's on the bottom lip. It's on the right side. It's on the left side. It's on the top lip. It's on the bottom lip. It's on the right side. It's on the left side. It's on the top lip, it's on the bottom lip, it's on the right side, on the left side, on the top lip, 
on the bottom lip, on the right side, on the left side. Now let's imagine we're gonna blow out. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's imagine we're blowing out them like a big birthday cake. They're like a hundred candles on that birthday cake. Ready? And. <sighs> Good, again, nice deep breath, breathe from your diaphragm, right from your belly, take a nice deep breath, then, and blow out that cake, candles on the cake. Good, and one more deep breath in, and blow out the candles on that cake. Good. Guys, like I continue to share, working on breath support is a challenge for me. I'm something I continue to work on. But connecting to our breath is really another way we can connect to our emotions. The more we last and the more able we're able to breathe easily, it really connects us to our emotional center. That, um, Let's do center. Let's do a couple of tongue twisters. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. If I didn't say, please repeat after me. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. The lip, the tip, the tip of the tongue. Good. All right. So, we are going to do some Mother Goose re-motion today. So, we're going to take the... <coughs> okay, so we're going to do some Mother Goose re-motion today. All right, so when we do Mother Goose being motioned, we take a, a, a Mother Goose nursery rhyme and we, 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 we re-emotion it. And the reason I like to do this is that as actors, we need to be right in the moment, be able to, our emotions need to be, you know, just like they are in real life, we react. You know, when we hear bad news, we react. You know, a lot of us, there's been a lot of things and sadness going on in the world right now with, you know, the pandemic and things going on socially, and I'm sure we've all had different reactions to that of how that made us feel and felt different sadness, anger, and maybe also a sense of peace to see people coming together to support an important social cause. So um, I, I think of coming together and, and uniting in diversity. Um, so I think, again, we probably felt a lot of different emotions going on to the Black Lives Matter and to the marches and all the things that have been going on. and. Because it's a real feeling about that, right? How we feel about that, how we felt about the protests, how we felt about being here at home um, and not being able to see each other. And those feelings, they don't, we don't plan those feelings. We just have them. And as actors, we need to be able to react and not plan. We, we really don't plan emotions. We don't plan to be mad. We did something happens and we get mad. We react. So that's what we're going to do with the mother goose the emotion. So how this will work is we'll take the mother goose um um nursery rhyme right down here. Little boy blue come blow your horn. The sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where is the boy who looked after the sheep? Even under the haystack, that to sleep. I have that vision right there, down there. Okay, 
So what we're going to do is, I'm going to pick an emotion card. I'm not going to know what it is. We're going to think of a reason why we would feel that way. Okay? What is it? Pick one? Okay. Loss. The emotion we're working on right now is loss. How does that make you feel? Think about something that was important to you that you lost. Something that you just lost. And give yourself a minute to go that maybe you, you know, lost um, money. Maybe you, maybe you've been lost because you met, you met that friend that now. So think of something where take a moment to go to that feeling to embody the feeling of loss. Give yourself a minute. Be very specific about why you're feeling lost. Okay, just take a moment. Good. And when you're there, then I want you to say to the boy blue, but say that from a place of loss. Okay. And then boy blue, come blow your horn. The soup's in the middle, the cow's in the corn. Where is the boy who was after the sheep? Get under the haystack, fast asleep. Good, go deeper, go to that feeling of loss. Give yourself a minute. Um, a minute and a few thirty seconds before you say it again. Remember you're feeling lost. Give yourself a reason, an imaginary circumstance why you're feeling lost. Was it because you lose a friend? Did someone die? Did somebody betray you? There's many reasons why you, why you might feel lost. So be very, very specific about why you're feeling lost. Give yourself time to go there. Good. Let's do it again. Whenever you're ready. The boy blue. Come blow your horn. Sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where is the boy who was? <coughs> and again. Where the boy blue come blow your horn? The sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where is the boy who was after the sheep? Friend of the haystack. Fast asleep. Good job. Good guys. Shake that off. Shake that off. We're going to use the boy blue again. We're going to have a different embody a different emotion. All right? I know this is bad for me too, that's why I like doing this with you. But I don't know what they're going to be either. Ah, gratitude! Feeling a gratitude! Alright? And I can put a little definition down with that word. Gratitude. Peace and appreciation. Quiet reverence. Deep thanksgiving. So again, give yourself an imaginary circumstance where you're feeling gratitude for someone or a moment that you're feeling so grateful. And feel yourself, embrace, embody the thing of gratitude. Why are you feeling gratitude in this imaginary circumstance? Fill yourself up. Always think, do the, thinking of someone you may be really grateful for. Really allow yourself to go to that place of gratitude. 
Okay. My new baby. Little boy flew. Come blow your horn. The sheep is in the meadows like cows in the corn. Where is the boy who is after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Good, good guys. So again, take a moment, take yourself. All right, when we when we're in our real life, we're in a circumstance. Something happens that triggers an emotional response, an emotional reaction. As actors, sometimes they have to use our imaginations and go there in our imaginations, especially in the audition. Right, we have to do a lot of work with our imagination and living truthfully in an imaginary circumstance. So again, create that imaginary circumstance of gratitude. Who is standing in front of you right now? Why are you so grateful that you're there? Why are you so grateful? Take a moment. Go to that place of gratitude. Fill yourself up with gratitude. Embrace and embody gratitude. Really see that person and circumstances right in front of you that you are so grateful for right now. Ready? And action. <laughs> Good. Feel that gratitude, guys. Feel that gratitude. The boy blue can blow your horn. The sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where is the boy who was after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Good, and one more time by yourselves. And action. Feel that gratitude. Feel yourself the gratitude. Be in that imaginary circumstance. Good job, God. Good. Okay, let's do, let's do a couple more. All right? Frustrated. Taken by the prize and easily scattered. Feeling thrown off. Frustrated. Okay, so again, think about imaginary circumstances where you may feel frustrated. Maybe you're trying to start your car and it's not starting, and you're going to be late to a to a job interview. Maybe you're trying to upload a video and it won't upload. I don't mean, know anything about that, <laughs> but again. What is the reason? Go to an imaginary circumstance where you're feeling really frustrated. What is frustrating you? What is making it ugh, right? Then really embrace that imaginary circumstance of frustration. A little bit of anger, a little bit of feeling stuck. Because there's nothing you can do usually when you're frustrated. You don't know what to do or what you can do, and that can be very frustrating. So go to that imaginary place of frustration. If you have a few, little bit of time, you imagine an imaginary circumstance where you're feeling really frustrated. Okay, ready, and little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where is the boy who is after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Okay, good, again, deeper, take it deeper. What is frustrating you right now? What is not working out that you need to work out and it's getting really frustrating? Right now, 
you're trying it and trying it and it's not working. Are you starting your car over and over and over again? Are you, you um, trying to open a jar and it won't open and you need to open a jar to, to make dinner? Whatever it is that's frustrating you, just really go to that place in your imaginary, the imaginary circumstance. Really go there. Really just feel that frustration. Imagine that frustration. Ready? Action. Little boy blue, I'm blowing your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? She's under the haystack, fast asleep. Good, and one more time on your own, and action. Go to that imaginary second of frustration, and action. Good guys, shave that off. Shave that off. Let's do one more. Romantic, ah, romantic, all right. Passionate, tender desire, sensual, and <laughs> sudden infatuation, a magical connection or adventure. Okay, romantic. <laughs> Romantic. Where would you be right now in this imaginary circumstance where you're feeling incredibly romantic? Who are you with? Who might be sitting and standing right across from you? How close are they in your imagination? Is it someone you know or someone you want to get to know? Will they see where they are in your imagination? Or are you looking right in their eyes right now? Are you holding their hand? Are they smiling at you? Really see it, really feel it in your imagination, guys. Feel that romantic, that sense of romance. Then I'm going to move it. Come blow your horn. <laughs> the sheep's in the meadow. <laughs> the cow's in the corn. Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack. <laughs> Fast asleep. Good, again, God, go over that place of romance. Who are you thinking about? Who are you with? Some of us, you know, some of you have had boyfriends and girlfriends in your lives, so maybe that's who you're thinking about right now. Try it again and really see that person. See them very close to you. And maybe, maybe they have their arms around you right now. Really go there in your imagination. Really let it go. And one more time, and another time. Little boy blue, I'm blow your horn. The sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. When the boy who looks after the sheep, he's under the haystack. Fast. Good job, guys, a moment of time. Really go to that place of feeling so incredibly, unbelievably romantic. And action. Good, guys, shape that up. Although you may not want to shape that feeling up, feeling romantic. And feel really good. <laughs> good job, guys. And again, 
the reason I use things like nursery rhyme to do this type of work is not that words are important, because they are, but the words are not just words of each book. Words become just words and lines on the page if we don't connect to them. If we don't connect to the imaginary circumstance, words become words. And so we're doing this type of work just to connect to the imaginary circumstance. And you know that using Little Boy Blues, it became different every time, right? It was different every time. So again, as words and the writers, obviously the writers write these beautiful scripts for us to do with actors. So it's our job to look at the imaginary circumstance and to connect emotionally to the imaginary circumstance. And that's what you all did so beautifully and wonderfully today. I'm so proud of you guys. Have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.